Hey everyone, welcome to our closeout of our disasters class. As I said on Monday's lecture, uh, thanks so much all of you for uh, coming along on this crazy ride with me in our, our very first rollout of this class as I've been trying to figure out how uh, what it will be like and how it will evolve over the years. So I really appreciate all of your uh, patience and all that. And in addition, rolling with all the crazy COVID and, and all of this stuff. Um, and my, uh, unfortunately, having to, to um, deal with some family issues the last uh, week and a half or so. Um, so I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page in terms of how we're going to wrap up the class. Since not everybody made it to, um, to class on a Monday. So I just want to go over the last bits of our uh, coastal, of our coastal, geez, of our disaster class. Oh my God, I'm totally losing it. So let's have a look at our uh, final assignments here. So, um, so uh, we are a little bit backed up. So this week, uh, module 19 is our um, nuclear accidents uh, module. That was the the lecture from last week. So that's here, um, as well as uh, the pandemic lecture about pandemics and COVID-19, which was this week's lecture. We have, so we have two, two modules uh, of new content this, um, this uh, week. Um, now, you'll notice that, um, uh, again, as before, if you guys attend those lectures, you do not need to watch the lectures, but you're more than welcome to go back and, and check them out if you, if you want to review them. Um, but uh, uh, the, we, the, the quiz for our nuclear um, disasters, our radiological events, uh, that's due on the 16th, uh, or, or you have to have taken it by the 16th. Um, and for the um, pandemics, uh, the pandemic lecture gave you a couple more days, the 18th. Um, and then, uh, well, yeah, so we'll talk about that. So, okay, so there we go. So, so you're welcome to, uh, do these, you know, now they've already been up for a bit, but, but, um, you know, just, just pointing out, you guys are going to progress through here. Now there is some, there are some readings for the nuclear, um, module and some videos. We didn't go into a lot of depth of, in terms of the mechanics of what happened with Fukushima and Chernobyl. We talked about them. But there's a few uh, videos. Most are fairly short. Uh, there's one that's a little bit more like closer to an hour, um, but that are really good. And I think will, will help you guys understand the, how the disaster has played out. So some videos, some readings um, there. Uh, for this Chernobyl one, I want to note in particular, uh, which talks about ecological, s social impacts, etc. There's only a subset there I'd like you guys to look at. Uh, and, and it's a very fast read. It's, it's, it's not a, a very dense um, piece. Um, uh, this specific testing uh, site here, um, this guy is uh, 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 best viewed on the LA Times website. You don't have to, but there's some great videos and, and interactive stuff. Um, if you can read that on the website, that would be ideal. Um, okay. And uh, jumping back to, okay, so then with the pandemics, um, again, uh, uh, these guys are, are, are they're online now. Um, uh, you guys check them out, watch them. With regards to the readings and viewings here, um, there's these are all optional. So you don't have so some of the things we talked about and some of the questions you guys asked about, I, I, I put these in. These are all optional readings and viewings. Out the stuff outside of my lecture is all optional. So you do not need to to read that if you're pressed for time, you're studying for other classes and, and finals and things of that nature. But that's what's going on there. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to mention is our final case study. So um, this is going to be our case study, which looks at um, uh, disasters outside of California, but inside the U.S. So um, for that one, uh, that's due on May 19th. Um, uh, you can do it as before. Totally fine. Uh, however, a couple folks have been having problems getting um, getting in touch with their their group members, um, and so as a consequence for this case study, my default is is thinking that you will do this as a group. But you but if if one of the group members doesn't want to, you are welcome to um, do this individually. You both would do the same the same topic, the same case study, but you would pursue it separately and turn it in as separate assignments. Because of that. Um, 
uh, the, the submission is a little bit different. Whereas uh, the last two times just submitted as a group, one submission counts for everybody in the group. Um, this one, because you guys have the option, everybody has to submit something. So if you are doing it as a group, no problem. All you need to do is save, save, a, save you know, duplicate the submission, have both your group members or you know, all your group member names on there and, uh, and, and upload those individually. So person A uploads it, person B uploads it, and I'll just you know, grade person's A and then copy the grade into, into person B. Um, but if you're doing it individually, obviously you would each upload your individual uh, PDF of your case study of your disaster. So if you are gonna do it individually, please send me a message in Slack and tag both me and your partner just saying, hey, just to be clear, uh, earthquake earthquake team is doing this as as a separate assignment just so so there's no so there's no confusion here and all things are clear okay and again that's not due till next uh not not due till next um next week finals week um and then uh, the last little bit is the the last thing it's not available yet so i can't show it to you but it, it'll turn on on monday um but i have a final closeout uh survey um, a lot of folks these days, a lot of you guys don't do the don't do the uh, faculty feedback forms, and there's a lot of extra things we're wondering about in terms of how how you dealt with the pandemic and things like that. So it's a survey um, I'd like you guys to complete. Uh, uh, it's anonymous, so when you so when it becomes active on Monday, you have all you have till Friday of next week. So you have five days to do it. Take a, might take a while. It might take 15, 20 minutes, maybe as much as half an hour if you're going slow. A lot of questions in there, um, and it'll really help us help we faculty understand how you guys are have been getting through the pandemic and all that good stuff. So what you'll do is at the end of that, when you get to the end of that um, um, uh, 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 feedback questionnaire survey, um, you'll just take a screenshot of the final page, and it'll tell you to take a screenshot. And and for that final assignment of taking the survey, all you need to do is upload a picture of that. Okay, so upload a picture by next Friday. Um, so again, that, that'll make that'll let me know that you've taken it, but also it'll preserve your anim anonymity and it won't know who submitted what uh, what uh, feedback. Okay, so great, you guys. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, by all means, you can still come to my office hours next week if you guys are stuck or having questions, or you can still po poke me in Slack or or, or send me a text um, if you're stuck on anything. Uh, thanks so much for all the work you guys put in this semester. See everyone soon. Uh, and have a great uh, finals week. Thanks, you guys.